Welcome to the next episode of our series where I'm showing you how to record your trio tracks into your digital audio workstation. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through the looper. But before we get started, take a second and click on that subscribe button down there. Click on that subscribe button down there. It's tons of free information. Why not be a part of the fun? Okay, enough of that. Let's get to the demo. Okay, so we're picking up right where we left off before. And uh, you can see that I've got both of my drum tracks and my bass tracks are already here and muted. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new uh, audio track. I'm gonna expand that out. Whoops, went a little too far there. That's okay. Let's move up there. And let's go ahead and uh, let's rename that track. Double click in there, let's call it Looper. And let's arm the track for recording. And since we've already done this dance a couple of times, let's make sure we turn off the record monitoring. Okay, so we don't hear that slap back. Now, if we look at the setup, it's just as it was before where we're going from the mixer output to the first input of the audio interface, just like we did with the bass. And you can see that the drums and the bass are turned all the way down and the looper is turned up. Now, uh, what I want to do though is that same trick we did before with the bass where I start recording it with that one measure count in and then turn down the drums as I did before. But let's just go ahead and make sure we got a good level first. So let's go ahead and just turn up the drums a little bit because it takes a couple of seconds before the looper actually kicks in. Uh, that way we can see what the levels look like. So let's go back and have a look. And here we go. Okay, so that's a pretty that's a pretty decent looking level there. It could stand to go maybe a little louder. Okay, so it's we're pretty much ready to get there. So if we uh, want at this point, we can start recording. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did on the bass take, and we're gonna get that one measure count in. So press and hold until you get that blinking light. Uh, we're gonna turn the drums down. We're gonna get that one measure count in and then we're gonna turn the drums down so you can't record that. And uh, let's see what happens. So let's start recording. There we go. All right, here we go. We don't hear anything yet, but we're gonna hear something in just a second. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and record through and I will see you on the other side. And when you're done recording the looper part, you should get something that looks like this. Okay, just as we did before, we need to line these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and unmute the bass part. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And you can see we're nowhere near where we need to be for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and first start by getting that cursor going, select the wave file and then hit the S key to split that wave file up. And I'm going to get rid of that dead space. Now, if I pull it over to the measure, the, the uh, uh, this beginning of measure one there, the downbeat of, I'm sorry, the downbeat of measure two, and let's go ahead and scroll in over there. So let's get over to it and scroll in. You can see we're pretty close actually. Uh, so obviously, just as we did before, take that uh, snap to grid tool and let's make it line up. So let's bring that file over. Uh, and now let's go ahead and get in and closer. All right. Now we don't have to go too far out here because we kind of done this before. So really close there at that point. Uh, let me turn on the snap to grid and let's go back over and drag that in. Yep, that's pretty much right on the money. So again, you can make adjustments after the fact if you want to. But when I look at all of that now, that, that looks pretty decent actually. Look at that, that's beautiful. Okay, so now if we look at all of the tracks here, that looks pretty good, I like that. So if we play it back,
Okay, so just I'm playing it back just a little bit just to kind of get a, a taste of what we got here. You can see that we're already clipping a little bit, but that's not clipping what came. That's not clipping as far as what happened here. Uh, but what happened is uh, playing everything back. It's playing back too loud. So this means you got to go into the mixer and start making some adjustments to the amplitude of each one of the tracks and start mixing. But that's a topic for another video that's coming after this. But this is essentially how you can record your trio parts into your uh, into your DAW. And then it just gets something really magical because at that point then you can start recording more stuff. But now I have a bonus tip for you on recording the looper. If you want, you can use the headphone jack on the back of the trio with the looper. And what this will do is it will apply a cabinet sound to anything playing out of the that track playing out of the headphone output. So that's another texture you can introduce into your mix if you want to. Well, that concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to start applying effects to your trio tracks. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com where I love pedals and so do you.